Regarding the easing of border control measures this time, we took into consideration the infection situation in domestic and foreign countries. Are travelers to Japan required to quarantine after arrival? How long is the quarantine period? Is it home quarantine or hotel quarantine? Can foreign students and new visa holders come to Japan already? If you want to know the answer, keep on watching. Hi, Jeff Tinagan here. We have some good news, but don't celebrate too much. If you want to support this channel, please do it by liking or subscribing to this channel. Japan is planning to ease the border controls from March 2022 and cutting the seven day quarantine period to three or even zero. There will be three parts of this video. One, the quarantine period of travelers into Japan. Two, new entry of foreign nationals into Japan. And three, the daily limit of the total number of travelers into Japan. Generally, you have seven days home quarantine for all the travelers to Japan. Now, starting March 1, 2022, when you will have a negative COVID test on the third day, you can now enjoy the rest of your stay in Japan. You don't have to home quarantine. On the fourth day, you can just go outside and enjoy. On my end, when I came back to Japan in January, I had 10 days of quarantine, three days in the hotel and seven days at home when they, they cut it to seven. So right now, it's a good thing for Japan and good thing for the travelers, the tourists, and so on. But we'll get into that. Still, we have three days hotel quarantine or facility quarantine to the designated countries, or we call it the medium risk countries. Uh, I would call it the medium risk because uh, designated would have a different meaning. For the updated list, uh, we'll just link down uh, the designated countries and the non-designated countries or the medium risk and the low risk countries. I will also attach important links that you could check on about the borders and quarantine procedures in Japan. Right now, it will be shortened depending on the status of your vaccination and the level of risk of your country of origin. So for example, if you have completed your vaccination shots and if you're coming from a designated country or a medium risk country, you'll have three day home quarantine instead of the previous three day hotel quarantine. If you have completed your third vaccination shot and you're coming from a low risk country, therefore your home quarantine is exempted. So you don't have to isolate. So finally, no more quarantine. <laughs> now, one bonus point is you can now use the public transportation in Japan uh, within the 24 hours of your arrival test, meaning the PCR test. Since 2020, we were not allowed to use the public transportation if you're coming from another country to Japan. And you must either drive a car or ask a family friend or a family member to pick you up from the airport or from the quarantine facility. I personally experienced this when I asked my friend Kat Sensei and Alex to pick me up from the quarantine facility with their dog. Um, I forgot his name. Kobe. Kobe. Ah, yun. <laughs> Question. Are the travelers to Japan required to quarantine after arrival? No. Or no quarantine if and only if you're coming from a low-risk country and you have a third vaccination shot already and uh, you'll have a negative test from at the airport. How many days of quarantine are required? It depends. It can be seven, it can be three. So depending on the status of your vaccination and the risk from your country of origin. Home or a hotel quarantine? Now it depends. If you're coming from a low risk country, then three day home quarantine. Now if you're coming from a medium risk country, therefore you'd have a three day facility quarantine or the hotel quarantine. Now get your booster shot. Now the new entry of foreign nationals into Japan under the supervision of receiving organizations is allowed. Now, sadly, tourist visa in March 2022 is still a red light. Now, green light for some students, trainees, uh, but the company must apply for it because it will be in Japanese. I think it's an EFRS application something. You need that. Prime Minister Kishida is leaning towards accepting the foreign students this 2020. Some say it's a political move, but actually it's actually good for the econ economy. Uh, but let's see how many foreign students will come here to Japan because last month, only 87 international students were permitted to enter Japan, but the surge of the Omicron cases here in Japan has been relatively high and the deaths kept on rising. Now, it was paused and will resume this March. Now, increase of the daily limit. Now, we know that it's 3,500 travelers to Japan as a cap as of this moment, but March 1, 2022, it will be increased back to 5,000. The last time it was 5,000, it was last November 2021. So that's it guys, I know not only Filipinos will benefit from this video but also some foreigners who, who want to come here to Japan and if you like this video, please do support my channel by, by liking and subscribing or by sharing this video to whoever needs this video. So, mata bye bye!